What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really special guest. Listen, when this gentleman came into the studio today, I said, yo, bro, I've been working on you for about three years. We're trying virtual. It didn't really work, but now we have him live in the studio. You know what we have in the building today? We have Worm from Base Odyssey in the building today. What's going on, big boss? Well, you're a whole heap of things, you know, blessed <laughs> brother. I mean, you know, you know, it's true. I'm on the social media thing. I know you're thinking. You know, I just saw mistake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I know, listen, I know how, how you stay, but I know how important it is to yeah. speak to somebody like you. So I said, yeah. okay, we're going to make it happen. I made the call, and Lifeline, you made it happen. Big Up Richard, they made it happen, and you're yeah, in man. the studio today. You know what I mean? Yes, man. You know what I mean? Not the place. Yeah, man. Welcome yeah. back to Toronto. Yeah, man, thank you, man. I've been coming here for a while, but you know me, yeah. I'm one of the low-profile person yeah. there, so I don't mean I place nobody, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never understand how, especially an MC that's always screaming and doing all this stuff, when you book them off-air, you guys are generally low-profile people. Yeah, man, like a Christian, everybody. Yeah. Like if you don't know me, I think I'm one of them, yeah. man, where I preach at church. <laughs> I, I just mean that, you Yeah. Know? Yeah, man, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> I'd like to bring it right from the beginning, then bring it right up to 2023. So I'd like to know, where do you grow up in Jamaica, and what type of child were you? Um, Manchester. Mm-hmm. And for me, I go to school. I used to have a, anytime I tell them my son did name, everybody laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a little sound, you know. Yeah. yeah that not, is- not sound, you know, the first yeah. time your people them go to a farmer, I care about this big tape. Okay. So you plug up two bucks on the tape and mm-hmm. yeah, father so until yeah. when you're done with school now, we start playing this song here. Conquering Lion. Hold on. We're not ready for that. <laughs> we're, we're, we, so, we soon reach here. So you, you say your 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 people then brought you back a big tip. What was the name of your song back then? Devon Airy. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Devon. It's Devon Airy. Like, yeah. it, it, it. But in a them time, they had the like... In a Gilbert time, 88, 89. Mm-hmm. That's what I come like me. They start solo business yeah. a long time, man. <laughs> they were really yeah. had a soul you know? <laughs> back then. And what was life growing up like in Manchester back then? And what part of Manchester? Like right in the Mandeville town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said Lincoln. Yeah. But life, it kind of, with, with, I remember my first time, you know, I did love, we love music, you know. Mm. Like, just like a DJ them first time. I love them, love music, you know. Mm-hmm. But like now, in the 2000 coming up, it more like a money thing. You know, it thing kind of divert. Remember I said, we didn't love it. We never care if we are getting over money. Or we just didn't love it. You just wanted to be involved with it. Right. Mm-hmm. But like it changed now. Money yeah. come first. Now you realize the generation mm-hmm. change and everything changed. Everything changed yeah. over. And back then, what did you think growing up? What did you think you were going to get into? Was it lawyer, doctor, chef? What did Worm want to be them time? Uh, uh, them time, I must have been like, the first thing I tell about police, I saw the car with me. Yeah. The first time, me remember me go up to a camp, go to a test. Mm-hmm. If you go to a camp, I remember I had a telegram. When the telegram came, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, get a call for a BSA. I never never bother work with the telegram, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we just end up a center. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it was really police or soldiers. Right, the because them, the thing then, you know, you know them people you tell the first okay. time, police or soldier, they come in a school. What do you want to be? Police or soldier, you never think about nothing else away from a police or yeah, soldier. You're just seeing that there. And right. even growing up then, where's the, when did you discover music? You said you had the tape and stuff, but when did yeah. you really... Discover right. something. We used to music. live in Lincoln. Mm-hmm. There were sound system around, but mm-hmm. like, through me loving music, now I made it have a thing about it. Everybody want me to come for a freedom sound, you know? Come in this family, small, yeah. me have an energy there. So everybody, you know, want me a freedom sound, rare, and you know? Mm-hmm. And you never wanted to be like an artist or anything. It was always playing music. No, me never see myself a DJ up till now. Doesn't no, dance, make yeah. I dance. Yeah, <laughs> up till now. <laughs> yeah, it was more or less song business. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What song or who did you see around a song that made you definitely want to get interested in this? In a them days, that me remember was so name. I was just wanna use the name because over well, song song used to run the place, and remember. What that song name again? With what old time DJ name broke back and Oh, you're talking Black Star. Black Star yes, sound yes. man. Black <laughs> Star. Yeah. That time they call it, they, them sound they, 
a big sound that I see back in them days. Like, okay. We used to have some little sound around here. Yeah. But I remember Black Star with Brockback and the whole of them. And mm-hmm. Yeah. So them something, our music just in your bone. Yeah. You know, there's something that when you stress out our here like music, you know, change your mood, depends, you know. Of course, yeah, music, man. music, but you know, like especially. Like medicine. You, you know understand, man. a lot of times you're just chilling and then when you hit that stage, you just like transform. Like a transform, right. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man, I could definitely see the 100%. Okay, you're there, you've seen Black Star and stuff. So what was the first song you got involved with? Um... The very first song, song, song. There was a song named Crown. Mm-hmm. Came from, sent me, I think the person was from America, but he shipped down the song. I was like in the square, I was living across the road. Okay. So I actually started playing that song, but it was, it was a big song, but you know, you have a song, but there's no management. So, like a loose ball, you yeah. know. The string up out of the shop front and play, but in ain't going nowhere with my shop front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And were you DJ, were you the MC or were you MC. selected music? Was were the, but, uh, them time they are records, so you yeah. could help yourself. But since the technology come in, we yeah. never really put all the effort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what was your name back then when you first started? Devon Irie. De- okay, yeah. so it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> so every time they hear that name, they're like, yeah. <laughs> In Manchester, because those times... Garnet Silk is right. from Manchester. Right. Did you meet Garnet Silk yes, in those early times? I remember I used to play Conquer and Lion. Okay, so then tell me the journey, how you got from Crown to Conquer and Lion. All right, Conquer and Lion was just up the road. Mm-hmm. And then people see me playing that sound in the square and the vibes and the energy. So the person for that sound now yeah. linked me. So that's how I end up on Conquer and Lion sound. And what, what year were we talking The about? first time, that was 2000 and no, 95. 95. 95, mm-hmm. right. And then I came to Canada with Concord in 96. You came up with Concord? The first, very first time I traveled, yeah. I came to Canada with Concord Lion in 96. I didn't know that. I didn't even know Concord Lion had came, came yeah. to Canada yeah. at that time. Then. Yeah. And that was Garnet Silk's, like Garnet Silk's sound because yes. Garnet Silk's mother used to up the road every single day mm-hmm. from where I live. She and the next lady, like our friends, so they are yeah. every day there. Same place. So then you, when you were on Conquering Line, you were linked with Garnet Silk yeah, at man, that time. There. God, trust me. Mm-hmm. If Garnet Silk gave me a snore, mm-hmm. that sound have a fan up plate. <laughs> trust me. Yes, man. Yeah. So, yeah. What was it like linking with Garnet Silk them time there, especially it's, the early stage years? He was just a cool youth. Like mm-hmm. Garnet Silk just like, you see like, remember telling him, remind me of like Luciana. That vibe there. You know, some people now, now forget where they come from. He just have that smooth thing there about him. Just mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Garnet. Yeah, man, Garnet, man. Yeah, man. Who else was on the song at that time there? Um, a youth named Tigo. Mm-hmm. Yes. Tigo. Mm-hmm. And Doba, you know, I him on the song, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And where you guys was, because Conquering Light was more of a juggernaut, not really clashes. Mm-hmm. Right, like. no bad word, no, mostly vocal. Yeah. I don't think it have six DJs, <laughs> everything, every big artist, yeah. vocal, everything. Yeah. Yeah. How did you end up on a song like Concord? That's more of a almost like a Rasta man type because of vibe. Everybody was wondering how I'm not a Rasta. Even when we come to Canada, because everybody know hey, maintenance yeah. owner, everybody a Rasta. Yeah. <laughs> so like when I say, oh, this is a ball that even sometimes all the maintenance is so bone you because like a ball, me go out dance with the boss in chat room, but through them, them I say, this is a ball it just <laughs> and I'm one of the place, you know? Yeah. So they, so how, that's how I end up on bass of this, you know, mm-hmm. because Concrete Lion and bass of this play up the road in my area. Mm. So it, like you go to a dance and you can't do nothing wrong. Yeah. So that was a, like a fire. So like the owner for bass of this, you know, mm-hmm. leave his number with the promoter for that dance. That's how I end up on bass of this. Well, bass, so how long were you on Concrete Lion for? My about three years. But okay, so you did, a, you did, you got your feet wet on Concrete Lion. Right. You flew to Canada. What were some other big dances you did before we get to Bayside? Mm, on Concord Line. Like in Jamaica, like Negril, they have some dance that they keep in Negril and mm-hmm. you know, you know Rasta thing them. They yeah. have some thing they keep uh, um Ocho with that place name. Um uh, Margaritaville? No, no man. I don't uh, don't remember that place at Ocho. But they all they always have some dance with some big artists, Coco T and them, you know? Mm. So those are the I never been to a clash. Yeah, I don't remember. Because I swear, those times did you play with Jaro? 
The yeah, Andrew Wood Jarrell, that's the place down in, uh, I'm telling you, Ocho Reyes. Um, that trooper used to play Jarrell then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I remember some conquering lines with conquering lion and Kilimanjaro. But that wasn't a clash tonight. Mm-hmm. That was in Ocho Reyes. I'm trying to remember that place name. Mm-hmm. But I remember playing Chupa Jara there. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's big there. So then you played Conquering Lion for about three years and so. So how what was the transition like now from Conquering Lion to Base Odyssey? Well, that like you 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 know, you go play a song, even people in my own, you're nervous. <laughs> <laughs> like Squinchy did it and you hold it, yeah, chimbo with it because you like, you know? Yeah. Can you get against a big man now, you know? Yeah. I remember the first time I went to a dance with Squinchy, man. Trust me. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was it was it was interesting because especially you're playing so so clearly you know of Bass Odyssey, you know of Squinchy, you know of all right. the people those times here now. Right. Yeah. And I remember I, I used to hear Bass Odyssey Black Cat like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there was Clash. When you hear about Bass Odyssey Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, Clash. Yeah. Remember Clash first time different from No Clash, you know. Mm-hmm. No Clash you have to pay for Clash. First time Clash you just go to a dance and a select that's something you know like. Yeah. It's a yes. It's you understand? Yeah. You say something where mm-hmm. you just feel say you might talk about war start. Mm-hmm. Like things change now, you know? Mm-hmm. Because through the artists, them so expensive now. You don't clash free, you know, really pencil out. No, you have you to understand? structure the business. Right. And then you have some money there dance or play and get a hype and mm-hmm. start clash and like, you know, work for them. Because what I realized in this business from a one base of this is on, mm-hmm. every man that build a sound system, mm-hmm. don't care where in the world. The only sound they want to kill is the bass Odyssey. It's bass Odyssey. With a solo selector or a sound system, <laughs> yeah. for a man build a sound like the only thing in their head, mm-hmm. it's so our bass Odyssey. So there's a lot of, but we're going to get into those. So then there's a lot of clashes that you got into, whether intentional or unintentionally, these clashes came your way. All right. Some of them unintentionally, because guess what? Mm-hmm. It was me, Mark, Squingy, doing Pablo mm-hmm. and Skinny. Yeah. But, only time I used to see Squinji was on Tuesday. Why, when we why play Tuesday? At so? and every Tuesday. Because mm-hmm. he, he leave for foreign Thursday and come back on Monday, yeah. play Tuesday, leave Thursday again. But when I go to these dance now, mm-hmm. through everybody does a Squinji, so that for them, in a for them head, I feel my chance now for kill me, so they say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they don't know my potential. They don't yeah. know what I'm capable of. So far, they see me doing, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to run you now. Yeah. But I just say, you know, they say I plan for run color, eat color lock, color lock, and throw their belly because they don't know what I'm capable of. Yeah. So they always. What was you the know, first. What I call it, dead wall. You know, <laughs> what was the first clash, whether it was meant to be a clash or a running, that you bucked up in on uh, base Odyssey? First clash. I think a clash was sound in St. Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Man, what is the place name? Mountainside. Mm-hmm. And. You know, like the man named Star, as we reach a dance, for then this t- certain hours pass, yeah. no squingy. Mm-hmm. Right, then start the war. It, the man that playing his own before the next selector come start the war. Mm-hmm. And he was there, mush up, I think his name, I mean, Maki. Okay. I think I remember that guy. And he was a, we play a next round and attack him. And then he coming back and said, wait till germs come because mm-hmm. his. MC now was germs. Mm, he was a big man on the soul. Right. So mm. I said, yeah, wait for germs. Me break me out with my dental. You know, like, <laughs> like them the, in the <laughs> yeah. first time class is humorous. And then when we, when germs come out, play for him, when we don't play the other round, you know. Yeah. The man is stand up. When we say one to go, not only so, the man is afraid to go play the other one. Then I'm here doing them yeah. days. And, it, and they didn't because get there. Everybody does piece of fire, you know, so squingy. Yeah. I walk over this yeah. one. Like, a running. Right. But they never, it's pity yeah. they never And what year did you get to Bass Odyssey? 97. 97. Yeah. Because when I was talking to DJ Mark, mm-hmm. I was surprised when he told me, I think Mark came, and you were there already when Mark got. All right. Yeah, I was there, but Mark was on the zone before, but I yes. think he went somewhere, but he came back yeah. after. Yeah. I, like I had no after. idea you were wrong from 97. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? mean? From 97. Yeah. About um, February. 97. Mm-hmm. So this is top of the year, 97. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you got there, who all of who was there at that time there? Squingy, Duane, Pablo. And just for us, because mm-hmm. Skinny was an Asonian, Super B at the time. So I was the only MC. 
So Squinji leave every week. Yeah. I was the only person play every weekend. Yeah. Until the boss says Skinny was calling him to get come back on the sound. I'm saying, yeah, man, we need the help. Yeah. Cause I like you wanna play every week, mm. you know. Yeah. So Skinny had cause Skinny was there and then he left and then right. he came back. Right. Just like how Mark left and right. came back. Yeah. But Lenny Lenny and Glamour G had left already. I think it was ninety six there. Yeah. Yeah. So I Okay, so one after. year right before. Yeah. So when you got there, the song had just split? You remember yeah, the right, song? When, yeah, right, right, just split, two, yeah, yeah, with Lenny and Glamour G. Yeah. yeah. So then it's almost like you got in from the the ground up because remember right. the song? Rebuild, re- right, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Going and there. then there was this clash now mm-hmm. in New York. I don't remember what year that was. Mm-hmm. BSS and Black Cat. Remember, I said anytime Panther Cha fire. Mm-hmm. So um, I thought, I think this the plane leave Jamaica. Yeah. They must have like when they were to serve food, some technical, and they have was to go back to Jamaica to land. That was here, Jamaica. What? So it, it took off? Yeah. There was some technical diff had to come back. Yeah, because. I, Start serving food, probably reach yeah. half the journey. And then he land back on Moby and then mm-hmm. Squinchy decide, you know, him stuff. Decide say him now nah, go back for the play. <laughs> I see him playing him a plan for yeah. start Take out to send back to me. So I was in Mandeville and then Keith called me. Mm-hmm. And then he said, Boy, yeah, you have to go to New York. Because me always go to the look at dance and my tampa the look of juggling okay, dance. So you, you know? were flying on base at the sea yeah, at this time here. Yeah, already. go to Antigua, the look of yeah. place there, you know. And the boss called me and say, Boy, I scream to say, you know, go ahead and dance tomorrow. So you have to go, you know. Mm-hmm. Then I clash me, I say, Black Cat, if I fire them the time, you know. When Keith called me, you know, mm-hmm. I phoned me, the phone, and I had a chimbo. So when he tell me, <laughs> me there, we are man, the you know, Keith, they are sent and I tell me, say, I have yeah. a come down for go ahead and dance. I'm a chimbo, like, so, because then the time, Black Cat hot, you know. Mm-hmm. So when me and Mark reach Moby, you know, we board the plane. Mm-hmm. Something else happened after we board the plane, you know. And they had what to send for something in Miami yeah. to fix, to do whatever on the plane. So we leave like Jamaica like to ten or in a ten region in a mm-hmm. night. When we reach New York, you know, at time I dub box we are carrying. So after three hours, in other hours mm-hmm. after three. When we go three dance and put on the box and pantaloon, I say, oh, this are you they send? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I panta you say play. Yeah. And say, are you dancing? <laughs> So, remember, there was a show named The Replacement Killer. Yes. Jo- you remember that show? Yes. Most, and that was the hottest movie at the time. Mm-hmm. So, me, when we start now, I say, I know who they say, and The Replacement Killer come. You know? Yes, I remember so, this. And then me, I say, then if you there from night, mm-hmm. I you wait till if, if you, if you late like me, you know, mm-hmm. when you come out, every song you put out, people have said that play already, you know. But him there wait till we come for start play. Mm-hmm. When we done with him in night, man, beat him and he said, tune for tune. The people must say, you know, win one round, so how you forget tune for tune? You know? So I found them there, you have a respect for me, you know? So yeah, that was, was that was the first time you'd buck Panther, or that was the first time you clash. him? Oh, yeah, okay. because reality, that the first time we may have, they have a clash one on one with like a giant, then, so yeah. to speak, yeah. And you were just, remember, you didn't get to prepare, so you know, okay, how weak this is what I'm doing. It was right. just a call and you had to go. Had to go. Yeah. But playing with Mark, you know, mm. <laughs> Mark, no. You see, the the thing with Mark, because I, I know Mark just yeah. like I knew Squinji too. And yeah. your personalities were like night and day different. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Oil and water. But you see, when it came to right. standing because, up around like, that song. When you're confident, yeah, the confident. When you're yeah. confident, somebody I mix with you, you're confident. You just mm. know, say, whatever I'm playing, I will connect. Yeah. Yeah. What were some things that Squinji showed you early when you got to base Odyssey? Because he was the big man around there at yeah. that time there. All right, Squinji always leave with You say, if me I press their dance or me I whosoever their dance, mm-hmm. and he come and see her go on with that thing, he just make you work. He want to hear you. Because mm-hmm. you have some man through the big man come now, he want to put on the microphone. No, he want to. Sometimes he work. just do there and watch it for you all night. Because me, we go and dance, you know. And the early one man a player and him have a bit of energy. I mean, you take it and you know have that energy, you know. So you just give him back and make him yeah. work because sometimes I know just don't feel night and night. Yeah. But some man feels a true big a feel. No, sometimes I just know your time. It just not work for you tonight. Yeah? yeah. Everybody have a bad night. Of course. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes that's how it goes sometimes. So Squinji would just more or less make you work and would he give you advice or pointers and say, Okay, do this instead of that or anything like that? Not really. Well, like when we got clash him say, yo, just focus. Just do your best. He not really have nothing 
to tell you, say, Ray, yeah. because you know, me I'm one of the humorous person that will just find so something for that way. A humor on dance, and the mother and the rare are the humor on dancer. Yeah. That's why somebody like, again, Panta, Panta right. smiled his way through clashes. Right. You understand? Just come up and smile and run to yeah, bad man. man joke. Right. You just want to have the people them come and go clash like in Italy, mm -hmm. where the first year was me and Mark, and the other day me and Damien. And we like was the only black man. Because even the sound they're playing with white, the crowd white, but you have to use psychology, you have to use sex for yeah. the people them. You know, Cause I remember when in the first clash, the first year, it was Sentinel we were playing. Okay. And they killed like um, one of the year before. So when I go now, I say, wow, you psych. So I say, all right. They came here last year. They killed your son in Italy. I went back to Germany. Mm -hmm. I laugh after you guys. Like, they're just telling people them something. I tell them so something when me feel, when me want them believe, you know what yeah. I say. So tonight I'm here to defend Italy and Jamaica. So you know like them them you things you and get them on your sykes, funny, yeah. On your yeah. side. Right. Big gear. So then even uh, now uh, one we won that dance and the other year we go back and win again. And win again, because yeah. first time it was you and Mark. Right. And, and then, then it was you and Damien. Yeah. yeah. Because the other year was supersonic, you remember that song? Of course. Yeah, okay, that, and yeah. they say they were the only the, basically this is the last song leave on their list. They kill everybody. So me I say, People in Jamaica, where we are from, if you are in a man list as a man, you know, you, see, you know, and those them thing there. Yeah, yeah. You psych them, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's 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 not really the amount of songs in the tune them that you have. It's more or less the way you deliver. Delivery have a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cause I love the stage performance. I just yeah. my thing that yeah. you know. That's you. You like to be out there on the stage, yeah. even if you feel. Nervous at first, right? But once no. you get out there, right? That's what people don't understand. Every stage, every world clash, you see me on? Mm -hmm. When I go out at first, I'm nervous. Yeah. But for me, play the first tune and get a forward, mm -hmm. yeah, man, <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Because if 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 your world not going good, now you're playing for five minutes, mm -hmm. like five or why not? But if the round going good, the five minutes too short. You understand? Yeah. So it's one of those things because I know that feeling of not doing good, not connecting with the crowd inside. Right. And but somebody take me five minutes come like five hour like mm -hmm. you just want that only after done. But if you go out there and the first time you just say, Oh God man. Mm -hmm. You're good. Five hours is too short, I should I give a longer time. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, when was the first clash you got into in Jamaica now? Where okay, Jamaica. firing is cool, but in Jamaica. Uh Jamaica. I remember we have pieces. Don't mm. know a place name. Yo, oh my god, that was yeah. a clash. That was a clash. That's that's what always happen to squingy is not there yeah. everybody always want to yeah man that was froggy and striker then yes of oh course. my god yeah i Trust knew me. they were hot in my be where was where remember was the they were hot they, it was okay oh first it was Corey was the big man around mm -hmm. the song and then it was froggy and striker were the hot youth them yeah around the song yeah, yeah man, man that night was a night mm -hmm. like when we beat pieces like you know sometimes you have to say you know, but yeah. when, anytime I go around this on my chance farm, that's me. You might, might just see me and me just come in and do a lot of talking. Mm -hmm. Like, if you go on a radio interview, yo, I'll kill no, and for me thing yeah. that. We just sit down and make you make your nice at them. Like, just like UK cop yeah. clashes, mm -hmm. they have a thing we, in we the pool. We suit that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we suit that. Because some of those were some of your yeah. brightest moments. We soon get to those UKs there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, pieces were so you won the, yeah. the pieces clash there. Right. When was the first time you lost a clash? Last a clash, last a clash. Because a lot of people winning is cool. Yeah, you're good. All right, but you're, you learn I'm, I'm your trying most. to remember. I you remember this clash in oh, we, we lost a clash in England once, but it was in UK cup clash. They put that with this African Shashama, some African sound. When the guy was reading the paper. Yes, and that's that he was clash. reading the paper to select. Right, yes, right. Yes, in that yes, clash. Yes, yes, I yes. Yeah, I can't remember that one. And I remember this dance in Germany, like it. We went to this place, that mm, we call festival in Germany, mm -hmm. but you didn't tell me it was a clash. Mm -hmm. And we never, we never say we last, but you're in a yard, yeah. so me expect you feel, yeah. To but really like, go on with whatever they right. want. So when did you buck back Pantanal? Because remember, you won the, you were the replacement killer that won right. and surprised him. When did you buck him back now, and what was that like? That was the dancing, I think it was Manchester, BSA, but Squinchy was there too. Mm. When we have them, um, Junior Gang with Hat. Yeah, remember all of them dance, man. Mm -hmm. But 
Me ask when you used to share a microphone, yeah. 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 Because I knew it's like at first it was it was Mark and Squingy. Yeah. Then a lot of times it was Mark Squingy and you. It's like yeah. you because, were really right. it was it ended up that's it was six of us. Mm-hmm. Um Damien, Mark and and Dwayne used to mix and mm-hmm. me and Squingy and Skinny used to talk. So some mm-hmm. most time Mark and Squingy play, most time Damien and Skinny play and me and Dwayne always play. But sometimes what we do now on Tuesday night, we used to play every Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we are the, the yard sound and let's clash with the foreign sound. Because, you know, we string up five in time. So yeah. Mark them with their foreign box because they don't play box in time. Yeah. So we used to have the box on the sound. But we always are more tuned than the foreign sound because they can't carry all the dub plays to foreign. <laughs> you know, so yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Those times there. Yeah. Yeah, so man. don't you test your skill. Of course, because yeah. and especially when you're clashing amongst each other right you know what i mean yeah. so there's no real lose or anything it's right. just making everybody better yeah. right you understand especially those times mm-hmm. you said it was dub box dub box so you right. had to it, there's only so much that could fit in this box right so there's we are mean? in the yard so no yeah. always have more song <laughs> well, did you used to live at the base odyssey house yeah too? i mean squingy and skinny used to live there first. okay oh, yeah. yeah what was it like living in that house oh why? <laughs> that was a life. Let me tell you, you are gallus. You know, them days they are gallus. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just are running around. Like, you just are live. You just mm-hmm. live free until you. Over the years, you realize that some things are really mm-hmm. profitable. You, you yeah. kind of move off on that and then you start your family and. Yeah. Build from there. Yeah, man. I definitely heard about yeah. that host, right? Think... There, there must be some point in your life where you make a change, you know? Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I heard even in the house, everybody would link, but Squingy was more or less one away in the right. house. Squingy yeah. would come here. All right, Squingy live at the front room. I like five, six, eight hours still on the veranda talk, and him just come out of the room and walk past everybody driving in a car. And that even, in a car, too. Like, I just feel, you have to just lower my sense to yeah. you. T- if you do that to him, what me do you, Virgin? You know, like what That's I just saw him say, I have to just understand. I know, say, I him that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just him that. Man. He was singer. I said, he was cool, but he was miserable, boss. Right. And a lot of people don't realize. Go and if, I, if I know him, yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. Him just doing things. I just mm-hmm. saw him stay. Mm-hmm. But you have to just understand, I know, say, I him that. So you just love him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Nice person. Yeah, yeah, man. It's just certain things I, I just, just. Him not, yeah. 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 If him say, man, I got dance tonight. Mm hmm. Uh, sometimes I think I'm even on the phone with my father. If he does, I play a pool and he decides to say, nah, go ahead and say, pool him, I play. And we have to play all night. Yeah. I just saw him still. Right there. When did Damien link with the song now? Um, about 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. So yeah. I think about. Two to- and then he. That was an next clash. Damien was. A, and Charlie Blacks used to play this song in Lone Star. They were at, oh, Charlie Black was on Lone Star too. Yeah. I know Charlie was on Char- Warlord also. Yeah, off, yeah, but he was on Lone Star. First. At first, yeah. And then Lone Star, Echo Stone, mm-hmm. um, Bass of this, uh, there was another R3 sound. Mm-hmm. was playing, what well, plays in Cornerstone, in Echo Stone land. Mm-hmm. So um, we worked, I, I, that time of final. Mm-hmm. So I went to Kingston to get some. You remember Pepper Seed? I, no, man. What are you doing? We're not here now. What are you doing again? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was Street Zebra. Yes, yeah, when yes, Street yes, Sweeper yes, yes. just come, I went up with Arrows mm-hmm. to cut them off and plate the 45. We get them from GT Taylor. Okay. So I went to Archie up to the studio to cut yeah. them for play them in I dance, 45. So I, I was in the bus front when I reached Cave Valley to go home. But there was this, this selector from Echo Stone named Tiger, but mm-hmm. the, the, the backup man, you know, backup man in that town, them know me in the bus front. When Tiger come on, because the bus, I wait for load. Yeah. But you know, the bus is a tall seat, so they know anybody behind it can't see it. Can't see it. So I say, What go going on so tonight, Tiger? What? I'm going to be a thing, but me sit down in the bus front. Just listen, you know? Yeah. The man come in the bus and the bus drop him off. Where the dance keep me for them place. Mm-hmm. I'm God, I'll know him now. He come out of the bus and know me in you know, the bus. You know. So when we come back in the night and dance start and I go on, I was in the bar. I mm-hmm. don't play in a bar. And then Echo Stone was playing. I like, you'd come in and say, yo, you know, here where Dean say. I never hear nothing, you know. But trust me, when we come up, I said, oh, I start. Because for them place me in a dear land. You know. yeah. 
this a war start. That was a night, man. Come in here, but a war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, beat them to sickness that night, man. Trust me. Right, there. Yeah. And this was around the same time that um, Damien joined the song? No, Damien didn't join Damien. I was playing um, Lone Star at the time. Mm-hmm. So Damien said, Charlie Blocks, I said, when we join the war, Damien said, you mad? You had <laughs> you like him, I say, Charlie Black says, come on, go in the war, man. But for them few, look a handful of tune, you know, to make sense. But I tell Charlie Black, say, no, man, you're mad. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Then uh, after that, so Damien joined the song. Yeah, and then Damien. I guess after that, Charlie joined the song right, also. Right, after Damien, yeah. Yeah, man, because that's when the team started to really build at that time. Right. There. You know yeah. what I mean? This was, let's get to, were you in World Clash 2006? The very the one first one that keep on D side. No, the very first one that keep in Jamaica was on D side, Chilani. Who was who was in that one there? I think Mataran, Radigan, Mighty Crown, I think Jar Jar, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. But that was our D side Chilani. We won the first one. Okay. The very first one. The very wor- first world that yeah. keep with Irish and Chile in Jamaica. You guys won that one. Yeah. Then. Who was playing bass at the set night like then? Mark. Yeah. Mark and Squingy. So it was and Mark Squingy. Mark Squingy. And I think it sounded string up there. Yeah. yeah. So probably Anduian was there. What do you remember about that night there? Oh, that night. Well, we just know something up on the winning team. <laughs> we just, <laughs> like, we are trying to picture. Yeah. Like when I be in a them time now, can I be crowd then? We yeah. really see now our dance. Yeah. Remember that dance over this mm-hmm. side, like one of the biggest crowd. But I play like the early part and then Squingy and Mark really. Mm-hmm. Run the night. And at the beginning, it was you and Dwayne or you Duane, and Damien? Me and Dwayne and Pablo. Damien wasn't on sound that. At that time yeah. there, yeah. So you go, okay, winning, cool. So what was the one that you actually, you were the front runner for the song at that time? The very first one, the very first one. Or one of the very um, sound for dead. Then, you remember the very first sound for dead that came to New York? The very first time sound for dead came to New York? The very first time. Who was on that dancer? Um... Black Cat, mm-hmm. Cinemax. Yes. Ooh, again. I think it was I think Cinemax it was and five Dance. Five or six on. Cinemax. Wasn't, wasn't yeah. it Cinemax and Dance? Because they were always on the song for that. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that the, the very Jake's first one. Right. That mm-hmm. The very first one that keep in New York. I won that one. Too. You won that the one. very first one. So what was it like now going to New York? Because remember, they had the thing Base Odyssey, Bounty, Brooklyn. Yeah. All right. What was that like now, the first? Because remember, it's not, did you go with Squinger or you went by yourself? By this myself. By yourself. Okay. Yeah. What was this like now, going to New York by yourself? Because remember, New York had a crazy love for Squingy. Bass Odyssey and, and Squinger, right. you know. So yeah. then now, you know, what was that like really getting them to? Like, I don't know if like you them you. gravitate to me, probably because of Bass Odyssey. Mm-hmm. And, you know, with slogan for it's a country like... Everybody, because in every country there's a country. Even in mm-hmm. Canada, you have a country. Of course. So every country there's a country. So you have to just a them thing there, you know. Mm-hmm. A, lot, a lot of country people live a foreign, most of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it just working. It just worked for me. Do you remember what it is? What was it that you guys played, or how you prepped to say, okay, this is how we're gonna take the money? Trust me. You see, I always, you know, you know, some people have rehearse. Mm-hmm. When you rehearse, you're in a problem. You because so? if you plan for play A, B, C, and somebody else play A, B, C, confuse you. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you don't know if to move on to something else. Mm-hmm. So that always confuse people that plan. Yeah. So sometimes you just work with what you see in front of your eyes. Mm-hmm. That's how me work. I'm in a rehearse. Only time me see bass is when I go and dance. Yeah. That's the only time I see. And the only time bass or they see is out of a truck is when it's string up and dance. Yeah, that's and it's ton, like me not me not get for rehearse, nothing, nothing. Mm-hmm. Me just cause even going to the clashes, tune been cutting, and I like tonight, tomorrow I clash my listening to them today or yesterday. Cause me not normally go studio with Mark or yeah. so, so him just we give me them and or even when we reach like no we have to play tomorrow, him play them and listen to them. So and you just, just gotta put it in your mind and have well, like you a know, we just work, it just, a speech for it. <laughs> yeah, it just right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why. Because sometimes I don't have to know where who will I I just want to know where to say. Just to I make good. You want the first line? Okay, right. what does the first line say? I okay, good. you connect the speech? Right. God. And it works. Because yeah. sometimes you're not know, playing a song till it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where was the first place you probably went with either a Damien or Mark 
where the crowd was more or less expecting Squinji, they got you and you couldn't get there. Same New York. Mm -hmm. There's most of those clash that I go to New York and same some of them UK clash in England. Mm -hmm. Everybody expects Squinji. Yeah. Everybody expects Squinji. And how do you work through that? Because remember, it was Squinji and then Worm. That was right. always the the package right Trust there. me, we got through some of them struggling. I think I lose the first two World Clash or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because like everybody was looking to screen for, for screen, you know, yeah. and then it automatically work. That's you have to just deliver, yeah, and try and win the people, you know, and it happened, mm -hmm. yeah. Because where the tide really turned for you was the 2006 UK clash, right? This is where you got the real big break, right? right? Because I think year before. Bass Hadis was there with Squingy, mm -hmm. but Squingy cost the bad word. Right. And that's how Bass Hadis it last. Do you walk us through that so, dance so what, in 2006? What I, did, dance. what I did now, because you know, sometimes you get a hype, you are cost too clad. Yeah. So I use psych. Psych mm -hmm. again, there's so something I say. People, when you reach the vocal round, mm -hmm. I say, me show you how wicked you man. I go put the microphone in my pocket and watch her dance like a boss. And I remember the year after Squingy came back, I think it was 2007. He came and did the same thing. He used the same thing. He came 08 because you 08. came back 07. Right. And one again, and he came back 08. And he used the same yeah. thing and said, put on the microphone. Yeah. After me see that happen to him, I said, you know, say, you will get drawn out by then. You know, I put the microphone in the place, mash up. Just with that, that was a year. Then I won, I think I won in England and in New York, the two world clash. Yeah, same it year. was, yeah, because I think the New York was before. The England, yeah, and then England was yes. after. So I won both of them yeah. back to back. And it was you and who was in the New York one? Was it you and Mark or you and Damien? Mm, I think me, me, I never gone to UK. No, I think I met Damien. You and Damien. Yeah. I know yeah. you, it was you and right. Mark that won the UK England, yeah, yeah. in 06. Yeah, one and old thing. But you guys won it crazy. That was where you beat Trooper uh -huh. in the tune for tune. Right. You know what I mean? You won it. But a couple of weeks later, you bucked up Trooper again <laughs> yeah. in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me about that dance. But that dance, boy, the one where, where the cartel, I think Squinchy was there, didn't you? No, Squinchy wasn't there that night. It was just you, it was Mark. you, Mark, and Charlie. And Charlie, okay. Yes. Yeah, because I played, I think, the first round or something like that. You controlled the first round. Mm -hmm. And then Charlie. You and Charlie came in the second, and second, third, and fourth was yeah. you and Charlie, but, but you controlled the I, I think first. the microphone was a confusion, the two microphone on the mm -hmm. stage. I think that was the confusion. Yeah. Two people talking at the one at the same time. I don't know what that, where that idea came from. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a little yeah. confusing. Because that night, I boss, it's like Trooper, two things Trooper did. All right, we played with Trooper. In this side, a couple of weeks before, a couple of months before. Before that one. Right. right, so Trooper played the cartel. All right, so we went the right over cartel. Go to cartel, yeah. like Trey, we here. Mm -hmm. Your, my lyrics, your DJ. Yeah. So when we, when we went to the World Clash now and Trooper played his own and we counter Rocky, it's surprised now if we hear Trooper play back on counter action for our cartel where only yeah. him. I did, nobody has to know about it because now you go to a regular studio, we have a portable place, so we invite, are you alone? So, in, in counteract that one, so from this, so we stopped playing cartel for a couple of years, about two, okay. three years. So, that was the issue where you guys okay. stopped. Yeah, because, like, are you alone? No, you yeah, yeah. actually sell me out, then, so to speak. So, mm -hmm. we stopped playing cartel for yeah. a while. Because yeah. that's why I wanted to know what was the real reason why you guys yeah. really didn't stop. Like, playing. because the person that I mean, write me lyrics, give you a DJ. Yeah. But you give a man counteraction for mm -hmm. something him no know about. Like I don't like him know about it, yeah. you know. If he was in the studio somebody and then he heard it, it right, that's but what it's I did. only us here, so the only person I could tell would be you. Mayor, I know me that <laughs> that's a Jano. <laughs> and you can't convince a crowd otherwise. It's right. It doesn't matter what you say. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah well, that was a night. Yeah, because he used it was a cartel he was using on you guys and mm -hmm. this one rhythm. Right. He basically played this rhythm from beginning the end. <laughs> And I'm, but you guys were actually doing good yes until yeah. your fourth round right I don't know what had happened the crowd was just the uh, same thing with if you guys had a two microphone you know I confuse the people them mm -hmm. like I just that I don't know where the idea they come yeah. from you know so yeah that was yeah. Oh, oh, 06 so then you guys had one two yeah. and then lost the last one in Jamaica but then 
you came back to UK again in 07. Right. And, and sting them again. Yeah. What was that like now, now that you really no, You just feel the, I, like you are the man. So, mm-hmm. here, what are the things where them, the, you're playing with six sound. Everybody trying to get rid of um, Mighty Crown and Sentinel mm-hmm. and Heavy Hammer. No, like, my thing now, I don't want to get rid of those sound. Mm-hmm. You try to get rid of the Addis, the Jaro, and certain sound because they are the sound that can play in tune for tune. But what they don't understand, Mighty Crown and sending a new tune. Don't try, me don't try to lead them. All me want to do, play better than two of the sound. Mm-hmm. That's when me get forth. Me always, till me reach down to them. Then so, you deal with them. Right. So, but them are play out them belly if you keep up with Sentinel. And you can't play it. They have that song, the new song yeah. they have. So, me just leave them till you reach down to them. Because when they pass third round, then they are not going to silk. Mm-hmm. No Dennis Brown, no they that. But people don't realize them can't play the tune for tune. Mm-hmm. Come Mighty Crown, I think it's the first song, like a 6 nil. Either of them are heavy, man. It was them, it was Mighty Crown. You sent gave the 6 nil straight yeah. in tune for tune. Mm. It's when you read tune for tune, now if, if the Addis or the Jar or them in there with you, then can play a tune for yeah. tune. But they don't realize, say, me not pick, me not pick for the, the Mighty Crown, left Mighty Crown, me no business, me on a play. You just yeah. try to get rid of the other man, them. but then when you say, I don't think them, yeah. Yeah. It, it's you psychs know? and strategy right. that you're using right. to really. Clash is not just about going up there cussing. I mean, and nice. Play. But them not understand okay, everybody are come cuss and I try to play everybody want to lead the dance. Mm-hmm. Me no want to lead the dance. You just want to second. Me just want to lead one or two sound like that's when the voting come. Mm-hmm. Them then you take time go up. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. No, that that makes sense there. It's to mm-hmm. maintain and do your thing. Right. You understand. Don't try to lead the dance. Mm-hmm. Because if you go try to keep up with Mighty Corner or Sentinel or them, you have to play out your box. Mm-hmm. And then when you reach there, you have nothing to play. Yeah. So you just try to lead why that sound now dance until Be- you reach down, reach down to them. Because for a long time, that was kind of one of you guys' problems was the tune for tune. Right. You know, you'd get, mm-hmm. you'd do Wicked all night and tune then, for tune. Yeah, right. Just wasn't so working. Change that and <laughs> different thing. <coughs> Makes sense. Yeah, right. Now that everything's out in the open, I want to ask you something personal. The Jimmy Cliffs, okay? Uh-huh. Remember, it was the Jimmy Cliffs were very important in you winning right. 2007 yeah. um, UK Clash, you know? Yeah. But then after a while, we found out that... But that's Jimmy a problem like me, you know. Yeah. Just go. As me say, me get the tune and for listen like two or one day before. Me don't know what. Me don't know the tune cut. I don't know who the panel Yeah. Me, you understand? So when that come out, now, even me surprised. Because me don't know. Yeah. Cause you are dealing with the song, them I don't know what is going to be. So I get song for play. Mm-hmm. I'm into them and I hit that. So, yeah. like, I don't have an idea. Even when that come out, me, it surprised me. Yeah. You understand? Cause even Father Keith surprised because I don't know them or something. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Uh, so. so, you were never a person to go to studio and go cut tune and stuff like that. That was you, really. Like, certain artists, me and my friend, like the youth and green and, you know, them, them artists there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, I forgot cut the regular something and I made that. No, that's yeah. not you. See, you really, you really can't wait till dance night to really just go around this home. But besides that, you're just chilling. You're not really I too around. I'm like a farming and yeah, yeah. Keep myself that's occupied. more your thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep myself occupied. What was it like the first time you played in town? Now, because Manchester country and all that stuff. All right. First time first you were in town. Dance in town. Mm-hmm. I remember playing in um, National Stadium. Mm-hmm. It was Arthur Guinness. That was a dance because, like, I wish one of them big selectors from town that was on the dance line when I come in and I yell you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you give me that little skittle yell there. So after them play, then me play. Then you see him and I say, Yo, if you know you, know me, if you have your number, you know. Because yeah. you know, you're coming from a country town people. That's why I'm going to play at the town. I'm the last man the boss. I said, Carl, you said that town. You're, you're not really involved. I'm not play at town because yeah. enough in my head. Town people always feel say above you at all time. I don't know why they where they get that from. Yeah. But they just have a thing that like, me come from a town, me above you. Mm-hmm. But other people just not understand. That's why I don't go to town for purpose. Yeah. Me I play bass as if I'm 97 till now, and about six or seven times I ever play a song in a Kingston. I don't feel me think that. Yeah. I just not feel me think that. Mm-hmm. Me stay a country. Yeah, yeah, man. Do your thing. Yeah. Can you know when you got to. Base Odyssey, were you guys playing with Stone Lover for a while? You no, guys were we, we didn't them? play with Stone Lover for like about seven years. At that time, yeah. yeah. 
Because when I got bases, bases, yes, Stone yeah. Love was a thing. Two songs you guys weren't good with was Stone Love and Jaro. Jaro. For a yeah. minute. Right. But juggling well. What was it like? Do you remember the first time you guys actually now got to play back with Stone Love? What that was like? Were you at that I, dance? I was not that dance, but I played in Manchester a couple of months after. Mm -hmm. What was with that With Stone like? Love. And then I said something. And Slaughter was objecting to what I say. I didn't have to put me, you know. So, like, Diamond said to me, said to me after, Why, when Slaughter drinking Magnum, I saw you go and yeah. start, you know, like. So, then man said, Look, you man could have make a relationship mash up. Them type, we not take no check for nobody, don't care who you be. I just weed, I just be a this. And worse, it, you're just getting the chance back with Stone. Right. I didn't at Manchester, I keep it for my place. So, mm -hmm. You're a king of your place, you know? You can't do nothing wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, but we good still, man. We're good. Because I find that those Stone Love dances really put Bass How to See in a real good juggling position. Be yeah, because most people have it as war song. They don't know how well we can juggle. Trust me. So like you, you guys have some style of juggling? Are great. Like our juggling just because we're hardcore juggling. Mm -hmm. We we. That's the difference. BSS is a stone of Anjaro. Mm -hmm. What people don't understand, you don't change BSS to play like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because if somebody says BSS on a poster, then condition their mind before they reach the venue. Just like stone of a, somebody says stone of on the dance, they condition their mind before they reach because they have to give them a stone of style of playing. Mm -hmm. I just saw we not change. We not, BSS not change, but to give them the, the style, you know? Yeah, no, you guys have a style that only you guys have this style where you right. give them like a tree peat. There's a way that you guys play. Yeah, because we always tell people say, when you see three, four sound on the dance, mm -hmm. we play different for everybody. There's a reason why if everybody if you play the same way, you just need one sound on the dance. So it everybody have to play different. You can't just go in and everybody do the same thing. No, you have mm -hmm. to do something different because everybody come out dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to just find what works for you and right, make it happen. right. What's some of your favorite anthems in the box? Oh, fear me can beat me, that's why they have to join me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, one of my favorite songs that. Mm -hmm. Trust me, and you know, it buries them. And some nice song that they were, enough of them not really play regular, you know? But yeah. We have some bad song there. Yeah. Trust me. Sometimes it's hard to pick out a favorite song like that. Because you guys have so much, especially the anthems. Yeah, man. They yeah. Remember, I said that song there for you. So I, be a this you better run. It's like a river, Jordan, I come. You know, them song there, like different. I, you know, everybody, I play them at night time. Mm -hmm. Then we play it and every song. Yeah. And then we have so much bone to killer. We have bone to killer where only, uh, we, when we realize when we play a certain killer, mm -hmm. everybody has to go cut. Because some of them know you. And then they start cutting medley, I try, but you know, it works. And that, good yeah, everybody good. start cutting medley. Would you say Bass Odyssey has the most killer in the world? Yeah, me feel so. Because I remember when a lot of songs stopped playing Bass Odyssey, was still playing and still cutting killer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just, yeah, we have it already. I was watching War Report the other night, and Damien played, yeah. I swear it was over two hours <laughs> of straight <laughs> killer. killer boss. Yeah, man. I mean, nonsense. I remember these aren't like he's playing for five minutes. If he's playing, let's say he's playing it for a minute mm. and you're playing over two hours, that's 120 kilo. Right. And believe you me, there's more than that that the yeah. man plays. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Uh, even in black and black killer. Yeah. Black, this black, you know, you know, you know, Hope Bloody are players. They, yeah. We have a lot of killer that mm -hmm. only when we play them, people will cut them. Mm. You understand? Because it's that song. You're the base out of the sea is the country representative. You have, right. a, and you have a lot of people have dubs in their box, mm -hmm. like happy long time, but they have it. But most of them are BSA, say boss them, they have it. Mm -hmm. I even, you have some people have some song before we. Mm -hmm. But when we make people recognize the energy it, you put behind it. And then they must say, yo, I mean, you boss that song. No, I know you boss, you have, no, like you say, I may have, it, may have it before you. Yeah. But you never do nothing for it. Yeah. You understand? And we make people know so that song there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the big song. Yeah, man, I hope a song we play and after that people start playing them. Because the other big country representative at that time, too, was Bodyguard. Bodyguard, yeah. You ever remember booking a Bodyguard? Yeah. Um, in this side, Trelawney. I think Firelinks was playing it. Yeah. What was that, that was night a, like? That was, I must have me a squinger come here. <laughs> so, you know, you know <laughs> uh, sometimes when you come a country, like mm -hmm. a different energy, because I realize most town selectors had to come country, come play. So when they come country, come play, 
Either then we know for play for country players. That may always get. Like then we know how for play. But everybody want to play a DJ and Ray Ray. Country people you know, sing, love singing tune and mm -hmm. certain type of song. You know, so yeah, sometimes you have to just transform where yeah. you go. And you understand the style. Right. Sometimes you have to watch the people that may play for. Mm -hmm. Some people don't look out there and realize that that no work. So, yeah. yeah. Doing all of this, you, Squinji, Mark Damon, and everything. Now, when did you, Worm, find out that Squinji was sick? Um, you know, it's a couple of years. Mm, try me, I try to remember. I remember when Squinji took sick, and then I had was to go to one of these. I, th I think was it that was it? No, first UK Cup clash, mm -hmm. I think, or something like that. I was, but, and then he get back, you know, and go back to the other one. And did he tell you, or was more like in the camp, the man of Noor? How did you really find out what was going on with him? Remember, he did sick, but me, 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 I can't remember exactly. But my mama saying he did sick out one time. Yeah. Mm. Right. And then 2007, he came, he came back to. UK Cup Clash in 2008. It was 2008. He right, came he back was to sick UK. 2007. Mm -hmm. And then he came, yeah. And I think it was probably uh, 2009 he and fell everything, off. Yeah, that's where everything went bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys doing your stuff and all. What was it like around the song when Squinty passed? Why? That was a really sad moment because mm -hmm. I think they were calling for the kid mm -hmm. and couldn't get him and they ended up calling me. <laughs> so I was the first person they called and I called yeah. for the kid. Yeah. Yeah. What was probably one of the last conversations you had with Squinji? Hmm. Oh, I, I I was the one that sold his van for him. Yeah. And then he left, changed money to US, mm -hmm. and he left, like, I think, was it Thursday or something like that? And he died on Tuesday. I mean, I remember how it but mm -hmm. I was the one that sold his van mm -hmm. and chased, convert his money and give it to him, and mm -hmm. he left. Because yeah. he said he was going to doctor or whatever. Yeah. Because that was singer. He was up by Poisoner then right. up in Florida. Yeah. So it's like now, Squinji passed. The song was feeling bad. But then the spotlight turned to you. Because right. now you're the main MC around the song. Right. What was that like carrying bass out of on your shoulders at that point? All right, so we did start. We, we, we lose, I think, two clashes. Mm -hmm. And then from we start when like the burden kind of lift, you know, mm -hmm. like people start work with me now. Yeah. But you, you know, me are not a social media person. So yeah. <laughs> me always, you know, keep a low profile. Mm -hmm. And then they may now transform to MC. Yeah, because, you know, in music, I think it in Mark and Babyface and Yunzi mm -hmm. as MC ever get the same status as a, as, as a mixer that gets the same status as an MC. Mm -hmm. So nobody don't really know a mixer like that. Yeah. Everybody know the MC. So Damien, from the Trooper Dads in Kingston, mm -hmm. he never looked back. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the Guinness, the Guinness right. dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then now there's the two of you guys on the song and stuff. Yeah. So then first, Squindry died. Mm -hmm. Then a little bit after this, Mark left. What right. was this like now with Mark leaving the song? Well, that was a big blow. Mm -hmm. uh, so Damien stepped in because Damien was the original mixer mm -hmm. so he had most you realize most of the clash he mixed some of the clashes mm -hmm. right yeah, but it was a burden mm -hmm. but we have a fight and yeah work we the fact that you could go through all of those and still be the original bass how does he on yeah. the ground from 89 is amazing boss yeah because we must say everybody ever knew you we mm -hmm. I home is here if you come Make it work, man. Mm -hmm. We don't want like a million worm, so sit on a bench. No, yeah. me sit and watch you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go out of dance and play a 10 minutes free night. Mm -hmm. And just the day I watch. Yeah. You know, like make everybody eat a food. Yeah. You, and it's not all about me. Like some, everybody, it have to grow generation by generation. So you, you have to give everybody them play. Because you're building the team. I, I know you refer to the team as the uh, 12 disciples. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's still 12 of you guys are on the yeah, song. I think about 30 now, depends. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. That's a big. Because yeah. sometimes we have five plays one night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite memory so far around bass? Something that sticks in your mind forever mm -hmm. that you'll never forget? Probably there's so much I don't know how to choose. Yeah. Just me. 
a random one. Like the UK, winning the UK Cup clash. Yeah. Trust me. Like, so, like and you were the first, like, in the spotlight now, and, mm-hmm. and, and I was on BBC one all, all day, one day, and, you know, them thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And then we start with Europe very often. Yeah. Like, Europe, everywhere in Europe. Then we end up in the Middle East, Russia, Germany, um, Russia, Slovenia, um, Israel. Yeah. And all of those places, you know? To go play music. Right. And I know, like, it's a UK cup clashes mm-hmm. that let I tour all of Europe. It seemed, that seems to be where you really get to perform. Because even when right. they brought it back in 2014, mm-hmm. you and Damian was back there again right. and won again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it is about the UK cups that really, um, that's where you get to excel? They listen music. Mm-hmm. UK listen music. You know, like in Jamaica, they mostly want to hear the new artists and DJ, but music, uh, Europe on a whole, listen music. They love vocal, singing, you know. So it, to me, I like that, that's my style. Mm-hmm. Me love the, when it comes to the vocal, I might. Yeah, that's, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Mm-hmm. So that's my advantage. <laughs> yeah. So then that's where you really get to excel. Right. In the UK yeah. here. What's some of the latest clashes that you guys been? I know you guys did the um, the Sumfest. Yeah. You guys won that. Um, that was a 2020 or 2019, I think it was. The Sunfest was year before last night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. go. You didn't Most go. Most of like some of the guineas, the boom, them, I don't know that. Yeah. Clash. I mean, like, to me, like, well, that's a microwave clash. I don't know that. <laughs> like, the governor, you have a governor, yeah. you can't only play certain things or say certain mm-hmm. things. I don't know none of them clash. I hear you. You've, done, you've been on Base Hot since 97 till yeah. right now. That's a. 26 years. Yeah. What's next for Worm right now? What is it that Worm's looking to do? Because you're loyal. Because when everybody, the thing was to leave your song, go build a song and all yeah. that, you, the whole team stood firm and everybody when did their song. When we done the business, I done church. Yeah. I turn a pastor home. <laughs> no, like, I just know how the song out the mood I play. Mm-hmm. At least I'm my own thing, but, it's, you know. Yeah. We done the business, I done, and cause you know me, I always do the farm, and I mean, I here and there, me, I'm mm-hmm. a little thing I go on, yeah. What do you love more, farming or playing song? At playing, this playing, point in your life. Sound. I love yeah. playing song, trust mm-hmm. me. Because like most of the farming, you, know, the, most, you know, the physical thing, you might go and mm-hmm. the spray a little thing, but the hard part, you pay somebody to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're from <laughs> there. And then me deliver to, you have supermarkets that I deliver stuff to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because right now, you're in Toronto, yeah. all right? Tomorrow night. Big dance, yeah. Midnight blush. Talk to me about that dancer. No man, that dance there. I'm a friend dancing. You know? Yeah. So you know, say, my man say it's not a whole week thing and a whole night, like, one single night and not yeah. a month. So when you go, you have to just sparks fire. I just so you, have, you just go a dance, I deliver. Cause mm-hmm. when we go a dance at night, if I even if I even want five new fans, you know? yeah. Yeah, you understand. Just keep so building just, the brand. Sometimes you just play something like at first. You're greedy. You're hungry for it. So you just, mm-hmm. yeah. My, but when I'm in Jamaica, I kind of mm-hmm. met the, everybody else work. But when are you one of work? Yeah. Just give it God. to them. Right. Shell it. Yeah. I guess every imp- every time you go somewhere, you want to leave a lasting impression. Right. You know what I mean? I, last time I, I, I did on Saturday night, mm-hmm. I went over there to last year. And trust me, yeah. <laughs> I'm going back there now. <laughs> you know, like you have to just blaze a fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's this Friday, June 9th, Midnight Blush. The um, Heels and Clarks edition featuring Bass Odyssey inside Fusion Lounge with Worm. And who did you bring as you selected this time for your work? DJ Price. Yeah. We came here the last time. You guys were Price. here the last yeah. time? Yeah. So would you say Price is the new, is your version of Damien or your, ver- or your version of um, DJ Mark? Yeah, he's getting there. Mm-hmm. He's getting, he, he's, they, they are learning. and mm-hmm. take, you see, if I'm playing the Bass Odyssey style of playing, yeah. you just... Yeah, but trust me. Price. All these new DJ, trust me. From there. Uh, everybody, I'm the only, me spread the glory. I think we are the only one in the sound that doesn't come from around where the sound is. Okay. Everybody else is yeah. walking distance. <laughs> but when you're good, you're just that good. Yeah, you have just, you know, we have the country thing, mm-hmm. the country style of playing. Yeah. Yeah, and people love that, mm-hmm. the country style of playing. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are here on Friday. That's um, what are you doing Saturday night? 
um, Leamington. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Leamington yeah. on Saturday night. And what could these people really expect from being satisfied? Fire energy. Yeah. Yeah, because the out of Leamington, I hope a farmer will out there. <laughs> well, like you know, when you go out from country and does the farm. Out, say, you know, this is how people uh, you never see a long time and like, yo, I've been sown this far down our country, you know. Yeah. Can even tomorrow night, man, much more and much up place, you know. Yeah. That's the promoter keep up our quick dance too. <laughs> yeah, because, you know. Mm-hmm. And true, you say true, Jamaica money can't change to yeah, mm-hmm. you. Move. With I that tell, energy that's still always I leave Jamaica. I tell people music is Jamaica's biggest export. Right. You understand? It's built in Jamaica, but it's exported out. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Where are you off to next after you finish these Toronto Canadian dates? We have so many dates, Bermuda. Yeah. Because I, I was in, in um, Bahamas you last week. Yeah, yeah, I played in Bahamas last week, Friday. Me and Mataran and yeah. a couple of songs. Okay. And two weeks before that, I was in Fort Lauderdale in Ireland. Mm-hmm. But, you know, everybody, Damien is in England. You know, so <laughs> we're all over the place. Yeah. I got one last week. I was supposed to go to Trinidad yesterday. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Crown was in Trinidad this week here for something too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two more I have for you. What would, who would you say is your biggest competitor? When you buck up this person or this right. song, they, was, this is going right. to be a hot night. It was Mighty Crown. It was, me no know me always, like Mighty Crown. Yeah. There was always something about them. Because I remember, it, you remember the fascination with the, the Japanese, you have yeah. to keep up because, all right, what, what, what I realize, if I go on my stage yeah. and plug in my laptop mm-hmm. and it doesn't work, the amount of boo we get. And if my can go up and plug in their laptop, yeah. you can I'll turn it off, I'll turn it and people stand up and wait for them. So, <laughs> no, reality, yeah. because there was a fascination with Japanese playing, mm-hmm. like, you know, so... Things that they might get away with, we know it. <laughs> yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. So we always notice that. Yeah. We always notice that. That they were the biggest competitor. Yep. Mighty yeah, Mighty Yes, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Bridging them and good. You know, they love the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to be got Mighty Crown, big up Sentinel, all the European sound, one love them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. They do a lot for the music, like in Clash, you know? Making your, okay, so then when you're in Jamaica, who gives you that? We got to be on our A game when we're in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think we can say I know. <laughs> Trust me. We know one sound going on good down there, rough cut. Going on real good in Jamaica. Yeah. But we, I don't remember where rough cut clash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there, you see, there's a place in St. Elizabeth in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. I can play in St. Elizabeth Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Every weekend I'm playing a different sound. That's how much sound is in Central. In Central Lisbon. And all them play good. When they yeah. talk about quality, mm-hmm. all them sound of quality. Definitely something to trust look me. into. Trust me. When the amount of sound in a St. Elizabeth alone, mm-hmm. trust me. Yeah, man. It's as soon as I said, the most sound out of Jamaica is from St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth have the most. Remember the first time I was in Kingston? Yeah. St. Elizabeth have the most sound in like Jamaica. That's why trust I love that. All the sound in St. Elizabeth play good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Word. like through the clash thing change, mm-hmm. you you don't even know like you know. Yeah. Who is sitting there? Listen. Anybody you want to big up? Anything else you want to say? Any last thoughts? Anything right now? Leave some contact information where they could check you out before I get you out of here. Um. Like my contact, like yeah, the, like social the media, anything, your phone number, social, anything where they can link with you. Yeah, anybody can, big enough? Any can call me on eight seven three or sorry eight seven six. You know the area code eight seven three four seven nine eight. Yeah, just link me up on WhatsApp anything because me I me not love this. Me, I don't own a Facebook page. You know, you it's know. somebody take my phone. I put Instagram for it. <laughs> like I just the social media thing. I just not for me. I just not. I just not me that. Why? Why? What is it about social media where you don't really? I just know me that my bitch, yeah. me, me born and I, the Bushman, them, you know, they kind of share certain things. But yeah. I just mean that. Mm-hmm. I'm a big up Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reggae boys in New York, I'm a friend lad, you know? Mm-hmm. Me have some good friends in the business. He work on Irish Ancient Radio. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah man, they call him Iron Vice. 
Yes, yeah. man. I'm, it's friend, yeah. Him and Thursday, it's him and I'm um, Drew them. Yeah. Yes, man. That I'm bridging, man. Yeah. Yeah, when we have a hope of friend in business, you know? Yeah, man. Big and them we up. got the whole of Canada, whole of Jamaica. We got me Europe people, them, and me Caribbean people, them, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. We have, me, me always respect people, you know? Yeah, man. You have to respect people and make people enjoy themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Worm. This took three years to happen <laughs> and you did not disappoint <laughs> at all. You understand? I'm going to you know be Father Keith, you know, because I make it possible. Big up the Linji, anyway, you stand up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say my partner in crime because I mix him in the whole I Of course. And big up all the select of them from BSRDC. So mm -hmm. Enough respect, man, and Lexi Lex. Yeah. The 12 disciples plus <laughs> possibly one. <laughs> <laughs> Price. 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 Come say a quick the thing, people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she a car from forward through. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm yeah. out. <laughs> all right, Worm. Big up yourself and thank you again, yes, Bassy. All right? Yeah. Bam. Price, you're nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Open well, eye, please, no? Yeah, man. Welcome back to Toronto. You understand? Yeah, but then I place once more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back soon. Was this, this is your second time or how many times have you been up here? I think about four times now. Yeah. Four to five. We're going to rock it. Yeah. And how, how has it been coming to Toronto? Please, nice. Yeah. Nice. I love here. Nice place. Yeah. I know it's big. Actually, how long have you been on b you know? I think from about 2009. 2009? Yes. Or even eight. Yeah. Because when Squinchy did, when Squinchy did, I did the Pan you know, but a little bit before he did. I had no idea you were under that lot. But I'm cool like Ram, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what, what I find with Bass Hattis, it has a lot of silent snipers. You understand? They're there, you know. You look at the pictures and you see everybody's there, but you might not know the name. Yeah, you'll know the Lexi and the Country Spang and the Worm and Damien. But there's another five or six man. You don't really know, but those are really the snipers around there, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? How did you get to Bass Hattis? You know, I live near to be a mm -hmm. But I did DM and brother and him, she, you know. He used to drive and the truck and play early. Mm -hmm. So I did my friend. Mm -hmm. But everybody knew me from here. So I just jump and the truck one day, you know. Mm -hmm. And they not tap me. <laughs> start from right, that's where I start from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you talk to her, you just more or less mix. Just mix. Yeah. It's like you're the opposite of Worm. Cause I know Worm's not really into the mixing. Worm's into the talking. You're yeah. into the mixing. That's why yeah. you make the great team like that, right? Yes. Now. You know what I mean? And as I said, you guys are up here today mm -hmm. for the dance tomorrow, Midnight Blush inside a fusion. What could they expect from somebody like you that's going to go in the box and pull out the selection? All right, for you come out, you know, yeah. you can't study with. Yeah. So come out and, you know, come, you know, see what take place out there. Mm -hmm. Tago nice. Tago nice. Yeah. Bryce, leave some social media contacts where they could check you out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you are. Leave some big ups before I get you out of here. All right. You know, you can check me out on Facebook, Price True Street. On Instagram, Price True Street. See me. Mm -hmm. So, you can check me there. Yeah. Definitely going to come through tomorrow night, Midnight Blush. I want to see how the two of you guys mash down the place. Because I know with partner in crime like Worm, Sick. A godfather, man. Yeah. <laughs> Any big ups you want to big up before I get you out of here? Oh, me never give me Instagram. Worm or worm from base. Worm underscore from underscore base underscore Odyssey. Yeah, man. You know, I'm going big up father, God. Because mm -hmm. God first, you know. Then you know, I have to big up my mother and father. Mm -hmm. Still have to big up Mr. Keith. Mm -hmm. If I never miss a Keith, you know, there, so. And the promoter. Yeah. I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So I just decided, you know. You understand. Mm -hmm. Big up, Rich, for making it happen. Big up, Lifeline, for also making this happen. But, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming through the Entertainment That's Report Pass. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where well, am Price. Price. Yeah, man. Respect. Looking forward to check you guys in tomorrow. tomorrow. Night, yeah? No problem. Bomb. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out.
This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.